Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have interesting news and it actually has to do with the HDR Light Studio. So the HDR Light Studio, they do have installments which they released. Not long ago they did release a brand new tool which they call the HDR Studio Tungseng. And they did release the Tungseng 1, Tungseng 2 and now there is a drop 3 that is available. And this tool actually helps you paint light. So you literally paint light in your scene. You literally direct how you want your lighting to be. And there's just so many things that you can do with this in terms of lighting. Of course, it does have its you know pros and cons. And we've seen a couple of features that these two actually have in various 3D apps. So we did cover the Maverick renderer. And we also talked about the whole light mapping thing in Maverick renderer. And not long ago, we also saw an update coming to Houdini that has to do with Solaris where you can literally paint light. The Tungsen Drop 3 is actually a follow-up update to tools and connections that they do have. So they've updated the Houdini connection so that you'll be able to use Houdini 18 and at the same time they've also done an update to you know uh, Cinema 4D, R21.1 and also to Octane 2019 and also 2020. And some other cool things that they've done is they've actually expanded a bit of the library which they have and they've worked a little bit more on how responsive this tool works. So they have procedural skies right now so you can go in and play with this. But for this video we're going to just simply look at an overview of how this tool works by playing with Cinema 4D and also going through how you can download the 30 days free version and how you can work with this tool. So by default, you can request for 30 days and you can get a 30 days trial to work with. So if you come over here to request for 30 days, you get the 30 days. And of course, you can still download the connection which you want to work with. For our case, we're using Cinema 4D and you can see the other connections that are supported depending on the platform that you're working with. I'm just going to pop up Cinema 4D right here. And we have this very beautiful car that we have uh, graciously collected from the internet and how this thing works is very simple so if you've already installed this on your pc right now there is no support for blender as it is and one other thing to note is that this this software as it is do have hdri and the hdri are coming from hdri heaven and you can try this you know come over here get free hdris in case you want to work with this so let's try this tool out so you guys can see what it does so with this tool here of course there are several tools that kind of mimic what this does if you have your model ready what you can do and you know install the plugin and you have to go over to the plugins and simply hit hdri studio so from here you need to select the renderers that you want for our case we're going to go with redshift and i'm going to simply hit on the add prebuild hook so once you add the prebuild hook you can select what you want and simply hit start now depending on the platform which you're working with this might slightly vary but it is actually the same thing overall so we're going to split the screen into two so that you can see what it looks like on the hdri side and also what it looks like on you know your rendering side so if you simply have this tool open you're going to see something like this so by simply seeing something like this you kind of think that okay what am i doing with this so from here you can actually press the playback button so that you can import the geometry which you have from here over to here it is very very necessary and very very essential that you set the cameras that you want the reason why you need to set the cameras is because you cannot move around on this platform right now you cannot move around here so you need to set the cameras that you want and from there everything is actually easy also your layout might vary so i've already switched up this layout so i'm going to come over to layout come over to load layout and simply select the default layout you can choose any of the ones you want to work with so if you simply select something like cinema 4d i'm just going to bring this over here you're going to see that we have a cinema 4d layout so you can dock things wherever you want to move things around so let's just start painting this light real quick so that you guys can see what it does so if i simply pick this up I can move this wherever I want. You're essentially creating a HDRI for your tool or you're creating a HDRI for your product. So this is actually targeted to product rendering. So if you want to do product rendering and you want to style the light the best way you think, you can do these things here. So you can come over here and pick out anything that you want. Right here, we're getting uh, an area light. So I can, you know, just drop this area light here. If I want to paint reflections, if I want to paint, you know, illumination, I can paint those here so I can just simply pick up this here or you simply pick this up here and you can use this to paint it around you might not really see what's going on here so I have to come back to this section which is um, Cinema 4D 
and I'm just going to come over to Redshift and start out the simple Redshift live preview. So if I just simply hit the playback button, we can now see that Redshift has actually started out. So I'm going to also, you know, re minimize this a little bit like this so that we can see what we have. So from here, you can start playing with the light. And once you start moving things around your scene, if I switch this to, you know, a reflection and start moving things, you can see I'm painting the reflection. If I switch this and, you know, get it over to illumination, you can see I now have illumination happening and you can still switch this and set it to rim. So this light is just going to be like a very simple rim light. And if you have your Redshift uh, render preview playing back, you can see these things in real time as the update. So this is actually something that makes a lot of sense. And I really, really would love, you know, to see you guys try this one out. Let me simply go in and show you guys some other cool and interesting things that you can do with this one. So with this one right now, if you come over here, okay, and let's say, for example, you choose to update your scene camera. So if we choose to update our scene camera to be maybe something like this, let's say for some reason you want to update your scene camera to look like this, all you need to do is just come over here and press this reload button and simply hit import and it's going to fetch your scene and still maintain the lights that you have right now we don't have any lights because we actually took it off so if i just simply come here and actually reposition this thing properly i'm going to use the redshift to see what we have actually i think maybe something like this would be nice or maybe we can just simply keep it like what we had before Okay, something like that. So if we already have something like this and you want to, you know, you want to reload your scene, you can simply hit this and it's going to fetch your scene, reload it and give you exactly what you have. So for the HDRI rig, let's say we want to work with something like this. You can simply just pick this and drop it directly here. Now, once you drop this here, you can see that from here you're getting a very nice feedback. Okay. So you can also see all of the lights that makes up this. You can select individual lights. You can tone them down. You can turn them up. You can do anything that you want. So we really like this green thing happening here. But what if we we want to change it so let's say we would like this green happening there but we would like to change it you can come through click over here you have different kind of tones that you can work with so i can just bring this here so you have very different kinds of you know uh, color tones that you can work with so you can also select these from here and make some random selection and yeah you can you know change this depending on what you want so once you're done selecting what you want so let's just select some colors that are a bit far off so if we select what we want you can still get this feedback in you know in real time so you can still get this feedback in real time if we go over to the red tone you will see that we're getting that in real time. So at any point in time, you want to make any of these changes. Of course, this is going to come in really, really handy. And what if you want to, you know, isolate these lights and you want to see what is happening or which light is controlling what? All you have to do is just simply click here and you'll be able to see what light is controlling what. Right now we have the very red light here. And if I come over here and I want to see what this light is influencing, I can just simply click here and I can get that. So all of your color changes, all of your light changes, you can find them here. You can increase the brightness if you want. If you want to use this light to actually paint illumination, you can also use that to actually paint illumination. And you can notice that we have this base light as the light that is illuminating the scene so your light painting tool is here every other thing that exists here has to do with lighting and i kind of like this tool we've actually talked about this tool before this is just to show you that um this tool works this is the update for the brand new version it is called the tuxen uh, drop three and i would like you guys to go over to the link which is in the description and try this tool out the renderers that these two supports include redshift it also you know uh, supports arnold v-ray render man and also um octane render so in case you want to work with these things it's going to be really really nice if you can try this thing out they do have a couple of videos they do have a couple of you know resource materials it's a very simple tool to work with 
and i would like you guys to try this and tell me what you think about them in the comment section and if you like this video or you learned something from it you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and of course if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can you know hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace